Alright guys, this is your graphing practice worksheet one. I want to do this first problem for you. Okay, I'm um, going show you exactly what I expect. So, data set one. Your directions you can read. It's going to say um, the first column is going to be your independent variable, your x. Second column is dependent. Um, taking clues from the shape of the first graph. So we're going to try to match the parent function of our first graph. So sketch of the original graph. Um, and then we're going to modify our data so that we can get a straight line. And by doing that, we're going to um, either square or take the inverse or take the square root or whatever that parent function tells me to do to my independent variables. And I'll show you how to do all of that. Um, so data set one, okay, I'm going to go to Excel, and you can see I've already typed that information here. Um, now your, the first part of this problem is to sketch an original graph. So right here I'm going to insert a chart. Um, here's my scatter plot. Um, I need to select my data. So I'm going to add data here. Um, my x values are going to be this column. I don't need to include this meters cube, so it's going to be this column here. And my y values will be the pressure in pascals. And I'm going to click OK. Um, click OK. Now my chart title, and I also need to add elements as axis title. I'm going to name this chart data set one. My axis title here, this is my y axis, what I called y, so that's going to be pressure. And this is going to be volume. Now if you look at this chart, this is not a linear chart. Um, the relationship between pressure and volume is an inverse relationship. So if I were to ask you, well, what's the relationship? You would say pressure is inversely proportional or proportional to the inverse to volume. Okay. Now, that being said, let's think about the parent function that um, this matches here. Uh, this parent function being an inverse tells us we need to um, take the inverse of all of those equations or all of those values to get a linear fit. Inverse means um, 1 over x, okay, or 1 over our values. So, but this is my original graph, so for you to do your worksheet, I'm going to go ahead and copy this graph and go back to my document here. Um, we're looking at graphing practice, or is it worksheet one? And I'm going to put that graph right here. Uh, looks like we're going to have to adjust the sizes quite a bit. Nope. Okay, it fits right there. Data set one. It shows my inverse relationship. Um... I'm going to delete so we can bring that back up and see the rest of our problem. Sketch of our test plot. We need to make this linear. So I'm going to go back to Excel. Um, since pressure is not proportional to volume, but it's proportional to the inverse of volume, we're going to graph pressure versus the inverse of volume. So first thing I need to do is I need to make a column that is the inverse of volume, or 1 over volume. Um, to do that, I'm going to tell Excel, I'm going to insert an equation and tell Excel to do 1 divided my, by my volume number um, in each row. So, I start to tell Excel to do something by putting an equal sign. That's going to say I'm putting an equation here. Um, 1 divided by, that's your backslash there, um, this value because that's what I want it to do and so it says 10 so 
That means that 1 divided by 0 0.1 is 10. Now you could have done that in a calculator, but Excel will let us drag our equation and apply it all the way down. So now we have 1 over 0.5 is 2, 1 over 1 is 1, and so on. It actually calculated all of those values for me. Now I need to insert another chart because I'm going to graph pressure versus 1 over volume. So insert I'm going to go to charts, do my scatter plot. Um, again, I didn't tell Excel what to chart yet, so I'm going to go and select my data, add a set of data. My x values will be 1 over volume now, so this column, and my y values will be pressure still. That column there, and I'll click OK. And uh, click OK here. So now look, we have a much better um, linear function here. We've linearized our data. I'm going to add a trend line to that and some axis titles. Um, chart title will be linear data set one. This axis title will be pressure because that's still my y-axis. And this will be, instead of volume, I use 1 over volume. I use the inverse of volume. Um, so let's see. Now, I'm also going to, I want my equation for my trend line. So let's go here to trend line and let's do more options. Let's go over here. And it is linear. Um, I want to see my equation and see my correlation. Okay, so this shows you that um, that inverse fit is pretty good. Here we have an equation saying that pressure is proportional to the inverse of volume by this constant. And uh, the correlation coefficient here is 0.99, so we're good. Now, to, what is the relationship? We would say y. Okay, I'm going to copy this equation down. y is pressure, so I'm going to say pressure equals just means is. Okay. Um, so let's go ahead and write our literal equation. Pressure equals 4.0243. Now our x variable is 1 over the volume minus 0.3332. There's your literal equation. Pressure equals 0.4 blah blah blah. Um, times 1 over volume instead of y and x, which is meaningless, we now have pressure and the inverse of volume. So now we can say if I have um, 5 cubic meters here, what is the pressure in Pascals? Now I have a model to go on. Uh, my, if I were to enter this in words, I would say pressure is inversely, oh, I've already done that, pressure is inversely proportional to the volume, okay? This one over volume is your inverse. Now for your worksheet, I need to copy my test plot here. Test plot is the plot to make it linear, which is what we did. I'm gonna go back to my Word document. Put my test plot right here. Um, okay, we need more room. There we go. All right, you don't have to print your graph and test plot as long as you have it there. And let's see, mathematical expression one. This is the equation that I gave you here. Um, it needs to be a literal equation. I don't want to see y's and x's. I need to see actual variables, so pressure and volume. I'm going to just copy that and put it right here. There's my equation. Alright guys, that was number one. These problems are pretty lengthy, but you only have four, so I need you to um, 
first sketch your original graph on Excel look at the relationship whether it's quadratic is it an inverse relationship is it linear if it's linear you obviously don't need to do anything to it just give me the relationship or the trend line equation however if it um, is not linear like this one it was inverse you need to linearize it make another column and do what the parent function tells you to do and then um, give me the trend line equation right here. All right, please message me with any questions that you have on this graphing practice worksheet. I will walk you through them. Remember my office hours. And as always, have a great day. Now I just need to stop my video.